copy paste like a like a like a, those birds who say things. You know, you tell him to say something, he repeat whatever you say, but you don't understand. The oneness of God. What does that mean? What does that mean? You see, uh, there is philosophy to be a philosopher, which means it just to talk and like to open your mouth, and there is no point of it. And there is a philosophy which is sponsored by logic. So if you are saying to me that you believe in Islam because Islam believe in one God, well, there is many religions believe in one God anyway. Secondly, there is one God or ten gods will not change the fact if he is exist or not. Just, just to make it simple, just to show you how silly this idea of I believe because of one God. We Christian, we believe in one God anyway. But this is not the point. We don't believe in Jesus to be our God because he is one. What if there is 10,000 gods and they already exist? That's mean believing in one God is a stupid foolish of you. Correct? So it is not about how many. It's about if he or they are exist. So you believe in one God, uh, 1,000 God, 10,000 God. It doesn't make change anything. This is a very silly argument. And here I notice always that those who have or they write those articles, they are very shallow. They are immature. You notice lately I'm using the word immature a lot because I'm trying to make it clear for you that those who are trying to convince you of something, they themselves are immature To make us reach maturity like if somebody trying to make me convert to a religion that's mean before I met this person I was immature I was doing something wrong but the person who is coming to me with this uh, logic is funny and he is obviously immature because there is one God or is ten gods there are three gods will not change anything I accept the religion of Islam because it is the only one the only religion in the face of the of the earth which strongly believe adheres the concept of one true God. This is the biggest first lie. The Hello. This is the biggest first lie. Hello. Mute you too, please. Yes. Um. I uh, I heard you said uh, that you believe in one God. Mm hmm. Uh, but that's not true. Who said so? Uh, reality does. Uh huh. Okay. Like what? Uh, what? About like what? Like what? Mm. Uh, well, you believe you don't believe um in one God. You believe in Jesus. Mm. And Jesus is not God. How many Jesus we have? Do we have one Jesus or how many? Uh, well, Joshua is actually, you know, uh, Jesus, <laughs> you know, in, Just, in, in uh, Hebrew, it's Yeshua. What Joshua? What you Joshua? believe that Jesus, uh, Jesus' name in Hebrew is Yeshua too. So? So you, there's two Jesus at, at least. You see, I don't like, uh, you know, let your dad call me. Yes, I thought you were an adult. It turned to be, Ooh. you are just a kid. It, 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 it is. So if he have different name in Hebrew and in English, that make him to Jesus, you idiot. I mean, I don't want to use the word idiot, but some people force me. Did your dad call me? You're, you're a prophet. He have 99 names. Like Allah. So we have, do you have 99 Muhammad? Don't get married. I advise you, don't get married. Stay there. Your wife, she will leave you from the first night. I don't even, she will pass one night with you. And this is what I'm saying exactly. Those who they are trying to convince you of something, they are immature. They have a mentality of a child. The Bible from the first verse to the last verse, from the, from the beginning of the book, from the book of Genesis, from all the books saying there's one God. So, you know, don't give me this garbage. 
So here, the one who wrote the article is not honest. And this is a clear sign of being a Muslim. Here he's saying that I accepted Islam because this is the only one religion in the world who believe in one God. There is there's thousands of believe believe in one God. Actually, there's a church. It's called the Church of Satan, which is in San Francisco. They worship Satan. They dress black, and their God is Mr. Satan, and they believe he is the only true God. Hmm. Here we go. So the logic is stupid, and the mentality is naive. And the immature that the maturity is not exist and this is the first thing I notice when I speak about Islam there is no maturity and we heard an example we took a caller I thought maybe he's a guy we have something smart to say and look what he says to me he don't even know Joshua Jesus name Joshua <laughs> anyway let us continue then we see verse number two God has no God look at this is smart person God has no God God has no God okay you know what I will go with you if the God of Islam has no God so why Allah he says it is he who created for you the heaven and the earth who is the one is talking and who is the one he is talking about Any Muslim can answer? If Allah is the one who is speaking in the Quran as the Muslims claim, so who is the one saying the following? It is he who has created for you all things. Allah. Okay. Allah is saying it is he. So it is not Allah. Or maybe there is more than what Allah. If Allah is saying it is He and He meant that by Allah, but obviously the one is talking, it cannot be speaking about Himself. So if the one is talking is Allah and saying it is He, then we have to find out who is He. Are you are you listening, guys? Uh, we have a Muslim and proud saying Allah speak in this manner when he is speaking about power and authority You see when Allah he speak in this manner. He speak when he speak about power and authority anyone is convinced Can't he say it is I who created for you as that will make his authority lower what they are talking about So if I say it is me who created for you it is not equal to it is he it is less so if he say it is he that will make Allah bigger stronger that is another naive answer because the second you say it is he it is mean it is not you as simple as that And if Allah is one God, then it is He who. And then look at this story here, just to show you that the the God of Islam he is one, who is two, or three. It doesn't make any sense anyway. As long as we are in this chapter, look at this. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, "Okay, who is the one is talking? Allah. Why Allah is saying? Behold, the Lord said to the angels. But He is the one is talking." Obviously, this book is written by a hand of a man and he always forget to switch to speak as if it is God because Muhammad You know, he is not really smart enough to switch So he is telling a story and the story is saying that Allah he'd said that and Allah he did that and etc But he always forget to switch that supposedly Allah is talking because remember the Quran Every single letter of it is coming from Allah. It's not from Muhammad. So Muhammad cannot say, oh, let me report for you, uh, Allah, he said. No, because this is supposedly Allah is talking. So Allah, he said to the angels, I will create somebody to inherit the earth. Hmm. Oh, 
Allah he said that to the angels to inherit the earth why there is somebody was living in the earth before any Muslim have an answer who was living in the earth before Adam any Muslim because as you see it says in Arabic وَإِنِّي جَائِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً Khalifa is the same word we use it for the caliphate you know the ISIS leader caliphate this is Khalifa Khalifa simply is somebody inherit somebody so ISIS caliphate is is the caliphate of Prophet of Islam which his name is Muhammad the son of Abdullah which is a known name as a father Abdullah in Arabic they call it for the one who do not know their his name like in the Middle East uh, if somebody report a story he says Abdullah Fulan or Abdullah which I don't know his name he's just a slave of Allah one of the slave of Allah he did this so now here we see that Allah he is going to put in the earth a caliphate but that's mean there was a human before Adam and that is a mistake in the Quran either the earth was empty and there's nobody there or saying caliphate is a stupid statement then they said will you place there in the one who is going to make mischievement mischievement and they're in and shed the blood hold on shed the blood of who adam if he is the first man blood of who he will shed any muslim can tell me And what is the mischievement? Muslim, they say to us, Adam was a prophet of Allah. What is the mischievement Adam he does and he did in the earth, Muslims? And then, uh, but uh, actually, I made a mistake. Uh, they said to him, they did not say the word earth. Are you going to create somebody? Uh, who was going to create or do uh, bloodshed but Adam was created in heaven anyway bloodshed of what and then and if he is the first of human there is no blood to shed then Allah he says to them and they, actually they continue says and we are the one who celebrate you and praise you and glorify your name huh? and then Allah he said to them look at the answer I know what you know not which mean Adam will not do mischievement he don't agree with them and then Allah wanted to prove to them that he is the one who is all-knowing and angels are wrong so he taught Adam the names of all things then he placed the name placed them those things before the angels and said tell me the names of those things if you are right look at this stupid story so I'm sorry Muslims I have to say stupid let us say you say to me in an argument like the guy who called me now he says to me uh, are you going to do this and uh, this person will do a uh, mischievement I say to him I know I know what you know not and now I teach Adam the names of all things and then I place those things in the front of the angels and say to them tell me the names of those things is that how you prove that you know everything so if I have a dog and I called my dog Susu and you are walking in the street and I asked you what is the name of my dog you say I don't know say see I'm God I will tell you his name his name is Susu and here we notice right away that the one who wrote the Quran cannot be God because he is a, he have a lack of intellect and maturity the story is a stupid story if he is trying to prove to them that he knew the unseen well, this is not the unseen. He is the one who gave the names for things. If he's trying to prove to them that he knew better, well, this is not the way to do it. What about you do the opposite? You say to the angels, go and name those things. Don't tell me the names. And come to me and ask me the names, I will tell you. 
Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand people what I'm saying? If this God is God, how come this God is not mature? This is a silly story. You don't prove to me. Imagine you go to the exam. Look what happened here. Imagine in your school. You are the one who put the answers at home. Hmm? You are the one who put the answers at home. And then you are the one who put the questions at home. And then you go to the exam and that to prove that you are the perfect student and the hero. Are you getting my point? You are the one who wrote the questions and you are the one who wrote the answers and now you are you are proving to them that you do not know by knowing the answers which you wrote. If you are truly a God as you claim, well you should do the opposite. And here we notice that Islam from the beginning miss a very important point that their God is silly and bring us a lot of silly stupid stories cannot be coming from God. So your God is one, is two, is four, is five, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Right? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us and correct us in case we are wrong? Anyone? You see, I'm going uh, th at this time, so maybe we can get more people from Indonesia. Otherwise, I know I will not have too many. You know, it's too early for you know, like me, but eh, it's okay. Any Muslim? So, when the Muslim they try to prove to us that Allah is God, they focus uh, they focus in silly reasoning, like uh, Allah is one God. Okay, and Allah has no God. <laughs> Allah is very important in Islam. Like, look at this. <laughs> I mean, this is hilarious. <laughs> the reason you converted to Islam because Allah is very important in Islam. Have you ever heard of such a madness? I mean, what is this? Allah hears me when I call him. That's a lie. That's a lie, my friend. Where? How? Just today, I posted a video in my page in Patreon. I don't know how many of you watch it. Go watch it. It's a, it's a, it's a comedy. Where it says, uh, Nu'man Khan, he was speaking about the verse in the Quran, which is speak about al-hudhud. I don't know how many of you watch the video. It's hilarious. And Nu'man Khan, he says in the video, I wish I can play it for you, but you know, they will claim copyright over it. He said, the brother and sisters, the fly in the wall is watching you, reporting you to Allah. The cat, the dog, the bird, they are, those all are a spy for Allah. So they start counting for us things which is obviously silly. Allah is very important in Islam. No, Allah is not important in Islam. The important Islam is Muhammad, and we can prove it easy. If I curse Allah, if I say the bad word to Allah, in Islam I will not be killed, and my repentance is accepted. But if I say the same to Muhammad, my repentance will not be accepted, I must be die. I must die. So who is the most important in Islam? How come if somebody says the bad word, the F word to Allah, he can be forgiven, I give him three days to repent, and if he repent, it's okay. But the one who says the same to Muhammad, he must die. That's it. He repent, he don't repent, it doesn't matter. So why you lie to us and you say, Allah is the most important in Islam. Allah is just a tool in the hand of Muhammad to control the people around him. And if we look at this story here in front of us, speaking about God, I mean, what kind of God? What is that? There's a God, he is telling us that there is a prophet, his name is Solomon. Stealing the story from the legion of the Jews, the Jews have tons of stories. They tell them to their kids. And God, He taught Solomon the language of the birds. What? Why Allah taught Solomon the language of the birds? 
any Muslim can explain to us is that really God talking is that really knowledge is that um, is that what, what is this and then Suleiman he have an army of a chicken birds genie and a human read it and before Solomon we are marched his host we have a host an army yeah he's a king of jinn and man and bird like what so you are telling me that Allah is God and this God is uh, uh, one God blah 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 God but look at this God who in the world want to believe in such a story who is a Muslim listening believe really that there's a, a guy his name is Solomon and genie do you know what the uh, jinn jinn by the way, the jinn who work for Suleiman, they are shayateen, satans. And what they do to Suleiman? Where is a, a proud Muslim? Are you there, my friend? What the shaitans do for Suleiman? What their job? Who is a Muslim can help me? What the shaitan? What his job? What his? Uh, what his position when he worked for Suleiman according to Islam? Anyone can tell me? Jinn, according to the Quran, is a creature Allah created from fire, and he can have sex with Muslim women, and he can have sex with Muslim men. Ah, Muslim and the proud, he says, well, shaitan, he do whatever Suleiman he want him to do. You see, but this is a total contradiction of what Allah He says in different verse. Because according to the Quran, Allah appointed the Satan's to be the enemies of the Prophet, not to be his helpers. Do you see it? Allah appointed for every prophet. I don't know what translation you like, Mr. Uh, how many Muslims we have here listening today? What is your favorite translation? All of them, they are full of lies, by the way. So Allah appointed for every prophet enemies. Shayateens, in Arabic it says shayateens, devils. And those shayateens are from the human and from the jinn, which means Islamic claim that shaitan can be a human too. Which means shaitan, he can come to you in the shape of a man. Or maybe he is really a man. So Allah saying shaitan is appointed to be the enemy of the prophets. So how in this verse, shaitan is working for the prophet and he is in his army. In different verse in the Quran, Allah, he says, supposedly, Aka Muhammad, that shaitan is very good in diving. Is that right? And he is very good in building. So shaitan, he work in the army, not shaitan, shayateen, shayateen, many, in Arabic, shayateen mean many, 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 a lot of shaitans. So there is a shaitan who work as a diver, shayateen who they are in the army soldiers, and shayateen who do diving and they are builders. Here we go. We have a, a corporation. This is a corporation for uh, you know building company. The vice president is Mr. Satan. All the employees are Satan. Slave of Allah. Let us see if a slave of Allah is something valid. Call me Mr. Slave of Allah, if you are real. And here we ask ourselves, okay, in the article you give us about Allah is one God, Allah is the only God, but Allah here is being, you know, this is a cartoonist God. What is this? And 
uh, Suleiman he have a special jail for Satan's why he put them in jail like the one who did not bring him enough jewels you know or the one who finished his shift he put them in chains so they would not run away <laughs> So this is the God you are asking me to believe in. We wish you a good luck, Sister Tamara. Pray for our Sister Tamara, guys, so tomorrow she will get a job. We pray for you, Sister. Hello. Yeah, is this Christian Prince? Yes, it is me. We are live on air. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, slave of Allah. Okay. So <coughs> in the Bible, Zechariah 14 to don't, don't share the God topic. Don't share the topic. In the in the Bible, don't share the topic. Answer me, please. Do you really believe? No. We have we have a topic. Zachariah. What's Zechariah? Do God people to be raped? Can we just see that? I have a question about that, actually. Okay, no problem. Answer this, and we can go to Zechariah. No problem. Hello? Hello? Yes. Answer the topic, and we will go to Zechariah. I promise you. So, what was the topic, then? The topic is Muslims are coming to us, saying to Allah that Allah is God. But when we look in the Quran, we find funny stories which does not make sense. As an example, Allah, he ordered, uh, sorry, he gave Suleiman a ring, and this ring controlled his kingdom, and he made uh, Suleiman have a flying carpet, and he made Suleiman have uh, control of the shayateen, and they die for him, and they build for him, and he controlled them. What do you think about this story? Okay. Well, I think it's perfectly fine since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything he wants. He's the creator. As Allah says in the Quran, قُلْ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلَدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوَنَ أَحَدْ What does that mean? Allah says, he is alone, he was not born, hmm. nor does he have any children, which is well, different to Christianity. No, my friend, in which, uh, okay, hold on. The Trinity. Do you speak? Or, do you speak Arabic? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. So there's three gods. Do you, do you speak or Arabic? Or as Christians, eight equals one, Wait, which do, is not mathematical. Do you correct. speak Arabic? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So you said, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad," right? Yeah. Say okay. Allah is one. Okay. Qul the word ahad. Say, the word ahad. Oh, ah the word ahad means one off. Yes. Okay. Ahad means one. One off. No. Well, here we Allah, go. Listen, my friend. Ahad means one, but yeah. in Christianity, again, you have three different gods. Don't tell you me, don't tell me, don't, 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 don't move, don't move. You see, we are discussing the verse you gave me. Here we oh, go, as an I example, know. as an example, that chapter 33, chapter 33, chapter 33, it says, مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ What the translation? Muhammad was not the father of any of the men among you. So the word ahad here would mean one of, one of, he is not the father of any one of your men. And this is the verse you gave me, you says, Qul Allahu ahad. Ahal, Allah is one of, of what? No, ahad means one. Who is, ahad here we go, I'm showing you, here we go, this is the word in Arabic, ahad. Make a sentence for me in the word, I use the word ahad, it have to be one of. And here we go, all those verses in the Quran. Listen, all those verses in the Quran. I'm not making things up. It's in the front of you. This is your Quran. Respect your Quran, my friend. Chapter 2, verse number 285. Chapter 2, verse 136. Chapter 3, verse number 73. Chapter 3, verse number 84. Chapter 3, verse 153. Chapter 4, verse number 43. Chapter 4, verse 152. Chapter 5, verse number 6. six. A chapter 7 mm. verse number 80 chapter 9 so, number 6 what? chapter 9 number 84 chapter 9 127 chapter 11 58. I can continue until tomorrow so all of them saying the word ahad and ahad mean one off so why you Muslims you lie to yourself you say ahad mean wahid yeah Allah is one no, ahad. no the word no, ahad is not wahid this is a different word ah, wahid is one ahad is ahad. one off ahad is one. Ahad. <laughs> one okay let me ask you 
Do Allah, this is do, Allah do Allah this have is a, do Allah have a, listen, this is Fusha, this is Fusha. Yeah, we are reading Fusha. This is Quran too. I'm showing you Quran. I'm not showing you a magazine. Okay, let me ask you. Okay. It doesn't mean Allah. All right. Do Allah have a family? Just, do Allah have a family? Okay, you, are, you repeat, you don't understand what you are saying. Let me ask you. Saying you let, let me Quran, ask you. Do Allah, we ask for help or, my friend, do Allah, Allah have, is one. Do Allah have yeah, a do Allah have a family? Do Allah have a family? No, 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 no. If okay. Allah says Ahad, Ahad means one. Just okay. like when we say La ilaha il Allah, hmm. there is no God except Allah. Hmm. This is the statement that you used to enter Islam. Okay, in Christianity. So how you explain to me this verse? Okay. How you explain? How you explain to me, my friend? How you explain? How you explain? Listen, listen, listen. Don't talk too much. Listen, we don't. We can't talk to at the same time. How you explain to me? The verse where it says in chapter 21 verse number 17 if allah want to take a wife or a, or a son he will take it from us if allah is one and there's not many allah there's only one allah allah here talking about taking a partner which is a female to have sex with her no, allah is saying he wants, he wants to take a life allah can take a life simple no no this is not about a life it's talking about taking a partner in bed it's about a life. It's about my friend. Life. Read the verse. Did you read the as, verse? As, you are not listening. As, you are as, not listening. As, Don't force um, me. Don't force me to hang up on you. I am talking to a mature adult or a kid. Read the verse. Did you read the verse? Are you in? <laughs> Just like as in the Quran. Did you, again. Did you even read the verse? Did you even read the verse I'm talking about? This is not the question. Did you read the verse I'm talking about? The verse in the front of you on the screen. Look in the screen. Stop acting like a kid. Chapter 21, verse number 17, saying, Allah, if He wants to take a partner from us, us who? No, 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 no. Allah doesn't need partner. My friend, this is not, it's up to, it's not up to you. The verse in the front of you in the Quran, this is Quran. We intended to take a pastime. Surely could have taken it from us. Mm. Mm. So it says us. So Allah will take a partner from us. Who is the us? If Allah, there's only one Allah. Hold on. What are you reading from actually? Is this Quran.com? No, this is not Quran. This is like we, we, we found Quran in the Middle East. Like this is a discovered Quran, new Quran. No, 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 no. Go to Quran.com. So you don't accept this Quran? You, you don't accept this Quran? No, because translations uh -huh. could be wrong. So uh -huh. go to Okay, what translation you like to read? No, no, no. I just want to see it in Quran.com. Hold on. My friend, I'll, no I'll go right now and Google it. What the translation you like? What translation you like? Tell me. No, no. Just give me the numbers. I'll read it out loud in front of everybody. No problem. Just give me the translation so we can put it in the screen. What translation you like? What? what? <laughs> I don't know what's the number of this Quran, actually. What's, Doesn't matter. What's give me number? the translation you like. Which translation you trust? So I see 17. Just tell me the, the A. Tell number. me the translation. Stop playing games. I will put the translation of your choice in the screen. What the translation you like? Well, then I just want to see Sahih International. You want Sahih International? Thank you. Here we go. Finally, he said Sahih International. Okay, that's fine. Sahih International. Here we go. This is Sahih International. Read it for us. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me open up the screen. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> okay. We had intended to take a diversion. Could have taken it from what was us. Hmm. Okay, so this says if we had intended to take a diversion, we could have taken it from with us. With us. Hmm. Okay, so Allah, He so will take it from someone He is with us. When I say with us, that's mean we are many. The second I say us, it's mean we are many. If Allah is one, how many Allah <laughs> there is to call them us? Because in Islam, we have the 99 names of Allah, the 99 names and attributes. So Allah, Allah is going to have sex with mirrors? Akbar. My friend, us, He will take a wife, wife. What do you mean 99 names? He will take a wife. She is a one of his names. Us, us does not stand for more than one God. 
as okay, Allah says, it says here, if we want to take, if we want to take a woman to have sex with her, a partner, we will take it, it from from us. I see us who? Okay, listen, listen. I want an answer. Who is us? Allah is talking about taking a partner. Lahwan is a is the word in Arabic for women. Lahwan. So for fun, women for fun. Allah, he want a girlfriend, not a, not a wife. So Allah, what he want to take? He want to take a, a girlfriend. He will take it from someone from us. Us who? Uh, so first off, you don't know Arabic. Nisa is the word for woman. Nisa mm. is the word. For so do you speak Arabic? Arabic? The one you are telling me you do not know Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? Nisa My is friend? the word used. Okay, in the front of everybody, if if I show you that the word lahwan mean women. And this is in your Islamic interpretation. Are you willing to apologize and accept that you are a liar? You don't know Arabic? No, no, I'm not a liar. There's a surah named after women. In the I know Quran, and Nisa is different story. I know that the word Nisa mean women. This is Lahwan to mean women too. Anyways, you know, don't tell, me any, don't tell me anyway. Either <laughs> apologize for lying or I'm going to show you the proof in the front of everybody. Showing everybody right. that you lie and this is the word mean women. I'm telling you, Nisa. Means I don't women. care. Don't the word lahu, the word lahu yes. mean women. Either you say yes, it mean women, and you are right, or you say challenge you, you are lying. Give me the proof, and I will make you read it. I'm telling you, in Quran, Nisa means women. There's a surah. I don't care. After. Here, he did not mention the word Nisa. He mentioned the word lahuan. Okay. Does lahuan mean uh, women or not? And Nisa is what means for women. So, are you saying that lahuan does not mean women? Nisa is what means woman. This is another question. Any, Does the word <laughs> lahwan mean women or not? <laughs> Go on Google Translate. Google translate. <laughs> Nisa is what means Arabic. It was means woman. Sorry. Abdul, listen. Nisa. All right. Okay. 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 Here we go. This is your Islamic interpretation. After you're done with this, bring up Zechariah 14. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. So I'm this is your English Islamic. Speaker. This is hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is your Islamic website. You should have seen Rob Christian yesterday when I brought My up friends, that. My friends, here we go. You've been cooked in two minutes. Don't say, let me see you, but no, we show you here. Here we go. <laughs> Apologize for being stupid and lying to me. And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi in the front of you. I'm not lying. So hold on, you bring out Qurtubi? So what's wrong with a Qurtubi? Is a Jew now? No, no, no. You have to go to Google Translate. My friend, so Al Qurtubi, he don't understand uh, Arabic. So Al Qurtubi, uh, he do not understand Arabic, but Google Translate, he understand Arabic. Well, you, uh, no, no, I, no, I, 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 you want, I want you to say, I want you to say that Al Qurtubi is a stupid. Why would I comment on these people? These people are not the Quran. So again, the so, word. So why you call them scholars? Why you call them scholars? You, if you wanna, you, you yourself, you don't speak Arabic, right? No, no, no. I speak Arabic. No, you don't speak Arabic. You, no, you don't speak Arabic. Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Just as okay. read, read Zemel. the read the page in the front of us, which is I'm showing you the proof where it says that he is. It says that if you wanna take a wife, uh, and and this is mean a woman in the language of Yemen, where it says that. Read for me from the screen in front of you. Start reading from there as long as you know Arabic. Again, I'm just going to keep repeating. No, this. no, 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 no. You see, you're a liar. You can speak Arabic. Read for me the screen in front of you where it says in the whole screen oh, that the word, the, the, where, where it says in the screen here in front of you, start reading and I will point my finger at it where it says that this is mean women. <laughs> I speak Arabic again. Okay, Lisa, read. Then read, read. Woman. No, 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 no. Stop. You're, you, you are a liar. You are a liar and you got busted. So either you read from Then read the seal to me. I, I want you, Arabic. please. Can you please read? Here we go. Read from here. Start from here and read just a few lines. I mean, this is very easy. You speak Arabic. That's very easy. Go ahead. Read for us. Read. And I speak. Speaking is different than knowing how to read and write. So, uh -huh. okay, speak to me in Arabic. What do you mean speak to you in Arabic? Speak to me in Arabic. You said you said you speak. I am an Arab. Speak to me in Arabic. Okay. Inshallah, I forge the nas kulu. Shu hai dal kitab al wahash al Bible ya taqul an al nisa. What is that? This is Arabic. 
<laughs> I will have patience to Jerusalem to fight captures the houses ransacked the woman. Uh, let your dad call me. What a kid. So Allah is one God, but Allah in the Quran says, if you want to take a wife, actually he did not say even the word wife, he says sahiba. The Quran described that Allah, if he how he can have a son when he don't have a sahiba. Here is saying, لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا لاتخذناه من لدنا. And here, this is the tafsir, it says, وله المرأة بلغة اليمن. The word له is a word mean women. قاله قتادة وأقبى, etc. وقاله مجاهد, وقاله etc. وقال ابن العباس. So, this is how I mean it's it's a very silly, very silly argument they come with that Allah is one. The Quran itself this is a, is a book of contradiction. But let me tell you what Muhammad did. <clears throat> There's a verse in the Bible where it says, "Your God is one." Oh yeah, Israel, your God is one. <laughs> Muhammad he copied that one <laughs> but he copied the word Echad and Echad in the Bible in the Hebrew is not one as number you see the silly Muhammad Echad in the in the Bible which is the same as Ahad the origin of the word is coming from the Aramaic so oh your Israel your God is one Muhammad, he took it and he put it in the Quran. But by doing that, he made a mistake. He made a mistake. Because the word there, one, is Ikhad, Ahad, which means that even in the old Hebrew, the Trinity is there. The Bible says, let me show you, let me see if I can show it to you in Hebrew. Uh, <clears throat> let us see. Uh, I want to show you in Hebrew. Hold on, give me a second. Let us open the Orthodox Jew Bible. <clears throat> All right. Well, this one, okay, it is, here we go. We got it. This is in the Hebrew, in the original language. Shema, you Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad, your Lord is one. But here Echad is a word, does not present a number it does not it does present a unity this is why we see that the bible in the old testament and in the new testament says that the man he marry the man and the woman they marry and after marriage they became a god so the a god mean a unity 
not one person as a person as individual as much it is a unity and that appear in many verses in the Bible as you see and this is what Ikhad always come with so the liar Muhammad he stole that from the Jews he says oh you Israel your God is Ikhad and by doing that he shot himself in the foot You see the verses? This is the penalty of a thief who steal. He got himself busted. And this is what the word Ikhad always appear. Like as an example here, they become a chad, which mean what? One. It's about unity. It's not about a person as one, as number. And this is what the Trinity is about. It's not about a number. Three person, one God. So the thief Muhammad, he stole it, he put it in his Quran, but because it does not match his ideology, that get himself busted with it. Look how many times the word echad repeated in the in the in the Hebrew Bible. All of this. It's very easy to get Muhammad busted. All what you need, just little knowledge. And here what Muhammad, when he says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Oh, you Israel, say that your God is a Khad. He is copying the Jews, but by copying them, he confirmed that this is a unity. This is not one person. Because he is using the word, the wrong word. He have to use wahid, not a Khad. Do you understand? And in Arabic, the word Ahad always has come as one off. And here we go. I just type the word Ahad in the front of you, in the screen, you know, and you will see what it's come. All of it is coming as one off. This is the word Ahad. Type it, search it. Ah, the search engine. Hold on. Look at this. All those verses saying Ahad. Ahad, look. وما نفرق بين أحد 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 إلى إتس إلى إتس ترى. so when a Muslim he try to play games with you you have to be firm and don't allow him to play games because they they are just game players. You have to be strict like some of you might say oh you are being so tough on him because they are they are immature when they speak to you if you allow a kid to play he will put his uh, the, the fork in your eyes he's a kid you have to teach him the manner and have you teach him discipline and to answer the question not to play around. Now we go back to our topic, and this is why they are trying to avoid listening and to avoid answering. If Allah is God, How God he say those stories? What is this? Flying carpet. Flying horse. Allah taught Suleiman the language of the birds. But yet Suleiman he, he understand the language of the ants. 
I mean, look at the look at this immaturity in the story. Because if I teach you the language of the birds, how the guy he understand the language of the ants? Are we listening? Imagine I send you to uh, to uh, to Spain to study Spanish, and then you study in Spain Spanish, but you are you come out from Spain speaking Russian. But the guy we taught him Spanish, we did not teach him Russian. So Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. Huh? What it says that? Here we go in the verse in front of you, verse number 16. And we taught Suleiman the speech of the birds. Read it. Okay. So Suleiman, he learned the speech of the birds. He understand the ants. Look, and then when they arrived to the valley of the ants, one of the ants, she said, and she said, ants are mute. Ants are mute and they are deaf. How the ant she said, and look the ant she said in what in which Hebrew in which language? Who is a Muslim when you tell me the ant she said that in which language? Look the ant she said, Oh, you ants, she even called them ants. So the ants they call themselves ants too. I thought they called themselves something different. Look like we share the same, uh, you know, language. So we call them ants, they call themselves ants too. That's interesting. Get in your habitations, lost Solomon. How in the world the ant she knew the name of the king? Look like this guy is so famous between the social network of the ants. Imagine you enter your bedroom and then you see an ant in your, let us say, in your bed. And then the bitch is said to you, uh, Christian Prince, be careful not to crush me. Like how in the world you know that my name is a Christian prince? I understand. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument, Allah taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but by Suleiman, because he was a genius, he was able to understand the language of that. How she knew his name. Who is the smart here? Allah or the ant or Suleiman? Once I was telling a friend a secret. Actually, he was telling me a secret about his mother-in-law, how much she loved him. So I told him, I said, what? He said, even the ants can understand us. He said, yes, this is true in the, in the, in the story of the Quran, brother. What if there's an ant in the room? Actually, if you watch the video I just made today, I don't know how many of you watch it. About Nu'man Khan, it's called, he's amazed with the Quran about the bird who speak to Suleiman. Go watch it, you die laughing. Nu'man Khan claiming that Allah, he made the ants, the fly in the wall, the fly in the wall is spying at you and reporting to Allah. Every move you take, every do you take, I'm watching you. What? What, what, what? <laughs> and look what the Muslims are worried about. You know, the Muslims, like when David Wood, he got cancer, brother. David Wood got cancer. It's a little thing in his skin. And and so what if he got cancer? All of us, you know, so your prophet, he got the poison and he died from the poison. Look, look at them, look at them. They can't answer us. Look what they are talking about. Hey, brother, I have a pimples, but I'm not going to tell you where, brother. Do you think Allah he put the pimples there for me? <laughs> so anyway, here we notice that this religion is immature. The God who is the Muslims worshipping, he cannot be God. This is a, This is a story written not even for four years old kid. Even four years old kids will not believe it. What is that?
flying carpet the end she knew the name of Solomon your God crucified oh, okay guys my God the crucified my God overcome death your God he said to Muhammad I protect you from the genie and mankind and yet Muhammad died by poison my God he says nobody can take him take myself from me I lay myself my down he told them that from the beginning this is what will happen to me they will kill me they will crucify me and you will deliver me and you will deny me that's my God what your God can do nothing stories fairy tale stories and this is explained why the Arab they say to Muhammad this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancients they laugh at it and the Muslim they say to us the Arab they were amazed brother the, the Arab they were amused with it they mentioned the word fairy tale in the Quran many times you see chapter 6 verse number 25 fairy tales of the previous people heard those stories do you see it if you don't like this translation this is Sahih international which is the same garbage as the rest of them all of them they are the same this is what the Arab said to Muhammad each time we recite for them Quran they say and they laugh this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancients do you see it so the Arab are not stupid they know right away that Muhammad is a fraud it's in the front of your eyes writ written or registered by Allah what do you think this is you Allah witnessing that the Arab said this is nothing but the fairy tales of people before them and look they even challenge Muhammad he says remember when they said, Oh Allah, if this is Quran, indeed the truth revealed from you, okay, throw stones at us from the sky. Nothing happened. <laughs> Where is the stones? Anyone knows why they challenge him to send the stones? Anyone knows why the Arab they challenge Muhammad to let the stones rain on them? What what is behind this story? Who remember? Anyone remember? No sound? What no sound? No, my sound is working. Let us see. You hear me, guys? Uh, Miss Wendy saying will you debate hijab? I made many challenge for him so see my videos. He is the one who ran away from me Do you ask him? I'm, I'm here. My Skype is open. Anyone can call me We don't ask the Muslims. How what's your name? We don't ask him how tall how short you are. We don't ask him you have a beard or not So don't tell me will you the question uh, do, do they dare? I made tons of videos challenging him. Go search on YouTube, Christian Prince challenging hijab, the Shabir Ali. Not even single one of them. I did not ask him to come and debate us. But they don't dare. Face to face debate. What about uh, bum to bum? What what is this? Is face to face? <laughs> Are we debating here now, leg to leg? Can you do better when you are face to face from answering me right now? You cannot, you are the same person. If you cannot make it through Skype, can you make it in a stage? You cannot face to face. And why I want to go anywhere to debate anyone? Here we go. I have, without preparing, I just decide to go live on air. I have almost a thousand people listening. How bigger can be the debate will be? Cost him money going somewhere. No, we didn't need. Here we go. You are in your home. I'm in my home. People will laugh either at you or at me. All right? You have a problem, guys, <coughs> with the internet. 
let me check the speed I don't know from my side it looked fine not sure but anyway leave alone those kids and actually just go and see the videos I just made for Mimi hijab and die laughing at the stupidity those people have he made six hours videos to refute uh, apostate to profit I, I am I am right now making a series of comedies people will die laughing at hijab now do we have any Muslim have something to say they ask Allah we challenge you to send stones on us because Muhammad he claim in the Quran that Allah he sent an army of birds look at the fairy tale story At those who try to attack the uh, the Kaaba which is the army of the elephant this is the chapter 105 it's called the chapter of the elephant we have a zoo in the Quran so they said to Muhammad nobody saw this uh, lie you are talking about when when happened when, when this happened and here we go we are challenging you to make it happen again birds are defending the Kaaba al qurmuti he came he destroyed the Kaaba he took the black stone he make it a poop stone for 21 years and not only that he killed 10,000 Muslims after he destroyed the Kaaba and he was screaming in the square of the Kaaba saying to Allah where are you Allah where is your birds where is your birds the one who spoke Muhammad about and who is al qurmuti al qurmuti is let us say an ex-Muslim who destroyed the Kaaba and all at that time they left Islam because everybody noticed that this is a lie if you don't believe me right now go and search did al qurmuti destroy the Kaaba and took the black stone and then the Muslims they ask Al-Hakim bi Amrullah al-Fatimi who believe who, who claim that he is Allah and he is the Caliphate in Egypt he is Allah in the, in the earth and he have a son spiritual son his name is Hamza al-Bahlawan this is his son so Allah have a son and this is what the Daru's now believe if you heard about the Daru's the Daru's believe in a book it's called Kitab al-Hikmah which is a book contains seven letters between Hamza al-Bahlawan the son of Allah and Allah so they said to him where is your birds Send us your birds. Let the stones come to us from the rain as you claim. Nothing happened. Any Muslim? Everything in this book is a joke. And Allah would not punish them while Muhammad are amongst them. Hold on. Isn't it a different verse in the Quran when Muhammad he says, Qatiluhum yu'adhibuhumullahu bi'aydikum, fight them so Allah will punish them by their by your hands. So how Allah will punish them when Muhammad is between them? Allah will not punish them as long as Muhammad is alive. <laughs> No, we don't send we don't send invitation by email. I made videos if he is a man and he respond to it He says Ad, he insult me. He says he will not debate the Christian princess No need we don't we don't do kids and stuff my friend. I'm not a kid Those are kids I'm I'm giving them an honor to debate me actually So they want to debate no, no you are welcome they might uh, even claim that I'm harassing them You know this is the same guy I think he changed his name and he came to us the same guy I think I'm calling him. hello yes you are live on air you call me again how are you doing I'm good is this Christian Prince Aren't you the one who called me just uh, 15 minutes ago? 
So in Zechariah 14, 2, it says to rape women. What do you say about that? <laughs> I told you this is the same guy. So are you going Even to answer, you are you going to answer me? Are you going to answer me or not? Are you going to answer me or not? So you see, Moses, you, 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 either you are, you are even a liar. You, you, you try to change your voice, claiming that this is not you. Because you are a, if you are a, you are a kid. Just, 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 and I know it's you. I told them before, even I am the one who called you. I told them this is the same guy. You're just a kid. In Zechariah, in Zechariah, in Zechariah. <laughs> in Zechariah. Oh boy. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Yeah. Anyway, in mature cult, when you are a man, I will let you speak to me. You don't you are not worth it. And you know, when a Muslim he brought to us a verse from the Bible, we showed them the Islamic interpretation from their books. The Muslims they give interpretation from their own head. As an example, once uh, a Muslim he told me, Jesus uh, speak in the Bible to drink his piss. So Jesus says that where? He said, the one who drink my water. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Any Abdul? So the articles, they uh, uh, going back to the point. The articles they come to us with speaking and claiming that Allah is God is immature articles because nothing there have to do with, with proving to me that anything about your God. Allah has no image. Who said that? Who's, who is the donkey? He said that to you. Allah have eyes. Allah have hands. Allah have a shin. Allah have a face. And look, they are quoting for you. Someone support. He says that, but this is stupid. Six, uh, uh, Allah, a beautiful names. Allah have a beautiful name. Allah names are disgusting. The hateful, the angry, the, the revenge. Worship the creator, not the creation. Okay, How, well, what is the proof that Allah is the creator? When in the Quran, Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. Isn't it Allah? In the Quran, he says, he is the best of the creators. So who is the creators? If Allah the creator, how, how Allah himself, he says, there is many creators. Do you see it? This statement alone proved to us that Islam is false because if there is one creator, yet Allah, he says, he is the best of the creators. That's mean Allah is lying. Because you cannot say I am the best student in the class if you are the only student. That's a lie. That can be true if there is other creators. And then the Muslims now, they try their best to say, oh, you know, like there's somebody, like let's say the one who would invent a, a computer. My friend, creator in the mean of religion is the one who created everything. Every living thing, how we can prove that even the Quran, he helped us. Let us see the Quran. The Quran says that you should not worship someone. He cannot even create a, a fly. So the creation we are talking about to be able to be worshipped as God is a creating a life. And this is your Quran. Chapter 22, verse number 73. Are you worshipping God, gods beside Allah, but yet they cannot even create a fly? Do you see it? And this guy, his name is Michael Brown. He will call me for what? Are you a Muslim, Mr. Michael Brown? 
the one who keep posting he wanna are you a Muslim mr. Michael Brown okay give me a call mr. Michael Brown give me a post your ID again I will call you <clears throat> no problem well we will give him a chance if he is a troll we will hang up on him block him who care give me your I uh, give me your Skype ID my friend I'm a Muslim can I call you miss uh, Wendy yeah give me your ID miss Wendy I will call you any Muslim would like me to call you please give us your ID we will call you all right Anyone? What happened? The second I'm waiting for you to give me your ID now, I don't see it no more. <clears throat> hmm? What happened? Where is your Skype ID? Anyway, we're not going to wait for them. Anyone would like to call us, feel free to call us. No problem. The admin will take your ID and he will send it to me and I will call you. So as you see, uh, they have nothing to say. This is This is a very silly cult. How Allah he says he is the best of the creators and then he says are you going to worship someone he cannot even create a fly but did Jesus in the Quran he created from the mother bird that's mean we should worship Jesus too the Quran confirmed that the one who can create a fly is God this is the condition of the Quran and the reason he said a fly which mean even a fly like do you know how small, small it is Right? <clears throat> and the one who was talking about Zechariah, you idiot, this is a prophecy about what will happen to them. The one who is with God is protected by God. The one who lived his God uh, God will let all the words come to you. He, you are you are without protection, and this is exactly what confirm even your Quran. So the idiot who is keep talking about Zechariah, he's just an idiot. Copy paste. When the Jews are with God, they are victorious. When they leave God, they are not. God will let all the enemies of the world fight them alone. Okay, you don't want me? I am not with you. Go fight by yourself. I'm not going to protect you. This is what Zechariah. <clears throat> Where is the Muslims who want to call us? Anyone? So as you see, you know, they, they, this is not a religion. This is just a cult, collect a collection of cults. Actually, it's not not only a cult; it's a collection of cults. Anyone have the courage and the knowledge to give me a call?
uh, in English translation says Jesus only uh, a messenger when I look at the Arabic I don't see only well this is not really a big problem uh, you see always translator you know for me I don't care really if the word only or not as long as it serves the meaning it's okay however uh, the same verse you are quoting for me about Jesus in chapter 4 verse 117 this is the same verse proving uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you mean 171 I think right uh, this is the all this the same verse confirming that Jesus is God and look here how Muslims how many words they add in the Quran like here the created created by him where it says the word created where, where it says the word created where, where this is where is the where is the word be and where he was and where is no more see all of those are things are addition so when the Muslims they speak about something in English it's far away from the what they speak about in Arabic I don't mind to add things to make it more clear but they are not truthful because the Quran did not say that if I change the translator just to show you how the translation change this is Hilali and Khan I will go to Yusuf Ali both are Muslims and you will find the translation change upside down it's totally different look what it says Oh, people of the book, which means Christians and Jews. And by the way, here there's a mistake. Anyone knows what a mistake? An additional mistake from the, or the, the author of the Quran proving that he is an idiot. Anyone notice? Anyone notice the mistake? Who noticed the mistake? No, debate TV one is not my ID. Anyone will give a wrong uh, uh, thing, uh, block him, please. Anyone knows what the mistake? I just highlighted for you. How we are, look, look, just to show you how stupid this religion is. They keep saying to us, their book is corrupted, your book is corrupted, your book is... So why you keep calling us people of the book? Do you see how stupid this religion is? The book which accusing us corrupting the book keep calling us the people of the book, but yet we don't have a book supposedly it's gone It's like it's like I say I say to you the guy with the hair when I talk about Sam Shamoon But Sam Shamoon he don't have a hair <laughs> And here you see that the one who wrote the Quran again is a is a kid. It's just a kid. He grow a beard. He wanna be a man, but he's a kid. He's a stupid. How you call us? Call them the people of the book, because still they are the people who the book was given to them. My friend, let, let me show you how stupid what you said. There's many nations Allah He gave them books, but only the Christians and the Jews are called the people of the books. Secondly, if we don't have it. Then we don't earn the name this name should be given only for those who they have the book and preserve the book those who corrupt it they don't deserve it it's a lie secondly why you Muslims don't Allah did not call you the people of the book didn't he give you a book Isn't it Allah? He says that the best of the hadith kitab. So he gave you kitab. Hmm? Here we go. Allah, he confirmed that he gave you Muslims a book. So why you don't have a book? Still, we have no. Here we go. At that time, Allah, he called it a book. Here we go. A chapter, a chapter 4, verse number 140, and chapter 39, verse number 23. 
it was a hadith but it's a kitab here we go do you see it Allah has sent down to you the best of the hadith the word statement here is a hadith a book <laughs> The second you call us the people of the book, it means we are the people of the truth. As simple as that. That means we have a book and you don't. Thank you very much. Muhammad is like a guy <clears throat> who have no honor. He want to attach himself to anyone have an honor. You know what I mean? My Skype is missed, misters. Mr. Swindy, what is that, Mr. What Mr. mean? Okay, Mr. Swindy, Mr. Mistress, Mr. Okay, here we go. I send you hello, Mr. Miss uh, uh, Swindy or Mr. Wendy. I don't know what you who you are. Call me. I will call you. Here we go. <laughs> what is that? What happening? You you became a girl. You are a guy who became a girl. What happened? What happened? Allah, he cursed you. The prophet, he cursed you, and you transform overnight. What happened? Can I talk to Christian Prince? Yeah, you are talking to Christian Prince. Here we Please. go. Yeah. Do you want me to ask Allah for you to fix something? No, Christian Prince, I'm all right. Yeah, but you are Can a guy. Why? Ask? Why you are putting a picture of a girl in your icon and you are speaking like a girl? What happened? Christian Prince. What this happened to you? Christian Prince. What Christian happened? Prince. What happened to you? Christian Prince, I want to talk to you, Christian Prince. Yeah, you are talking to Christian Prince, Lolita. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How about okay, you? Okay, Lolita, when you go to the heaven, Allah will give the man 72 Lolita and you will be one of them. How do you explain that to us? 72 is the minimum. The minimum, uh -huh. okay. And you will be number what? I want to talk about our topic. I don't want to talk about virgin. Hmm. I think you are a virgin in the brain still, but not in the private part. Anyway, <clears throat> they change even their voice when they talk to me. It's terrifying. Okay. It sounds like Allah, I don't know, or Jibreel. You had a genie? Oh, okay, no problem. Just fart, he will get out. Now, Allah sent down the best of the statement, a book, and that is the Quran. Hadith. Question. How Allah he sent the book? Any Muslim can tell me? How Allah he sent his book? They never send you a book. Never. Where? Actually, the book right, right now we are reading, this is the book of Uthman, which nobody have actually. You see what we have in the front of us, if you have the Arabic Quran, it says, um, actually, I have I posted the, the, the page before. It says that this book, according to the recitation, according to the recitation, like according to the recitation of Hafs, Ibn Asim, the son of Asim, according to Asim, according, 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 according to Uthman, according to the Ali, blah, 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 according to the Prophet. It's a recitation. Where is the book? And Asim is accused by Muslims to be a fraud. So the, the book we have right now is according to the recitation of a fraud. And the funny, the Muslim themselves, they say he's a fraud. Do you believe it? Where is the book? And then the additional uh, the, the deception they bring to us always that the Quran, uh, brother, is the only book is preserved. Your logic, 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let me put for you what Mr. Uh, actually, I like this guy. At least he is not, you know, he's trying. To, he, he's a uh, he don't use a bad language, and he is trying to defend his religion. No problem. Arabian prophet, your logic is very flawed. Allah said, "Bani Adam does not mean your correct same way." Allah says, "Ahlul Kitab does not mean your correct." What does that mean? Anybody understand? I think I have a. Uh, 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 I'm not smart as you my friend when Allah he says the children of Adam we are we are the children of Adam <laughs> we still we still the children of Adam what does this have to do with this I don't know what are you eating mr. Muslim and proud but I think this comment will not make you proud because this is a there's a lack of intellect When Allah says Bani Adam, he is saying children of Adam. But this is a correct state, a statement. We are the children of Adam. When you say people of the book, it means we are the people who the book belong to. Book of who? Book of God. And that again is a mistake because a book should be belong to God, not to us. Is that correct, guys? If, if the book belonged to me, that's mean I am God. How you make the book belong to, belong to us if this book is coming supposedly from Allah? So we are not people of the book because we are not the one who made the book. If Allah is the one who made the book, then this is a book of Allah. So again, this is the second mistake. You should not say people of the book because the book belong to the author. Who is the author? When somebody buy one of my books from Amazon, can he say, can he call himself, He can he claim that those are my books? He can claim the ownership of them, but he cannot claim he is the writer. So if somebody says, those are the books of this guy, well, this is not a true. Those are my books. I am a Christian prince. I am the one who wrote them. So again, a bad language, a bad mistake. Where is this guy, Michael? Uh, ban him, please. Ban him from the chat. He is using bad language. This guy, his name is Michael Brown. Ban him, please. All right. Anyone will use a bad language, we will ban you. It doesn't matter who you are. I don't care. Well, uh, he speak of his own, you know, people are stupid. Uh, uh, Muhammad himself, he speak against the black people, many places. You see, do you know that the Muslims, they quote for you something is called the, the last sermon? Do you know that the last sermon, there is no source of it? It's not authentic? Where is the last sermon? Okay, who is a Muslim want to show me the last sermon from Sahih Bukhari? Just to show you the game of the Muslims, how it works. Who is the Muslim when to show me the last sermon where Muhammad says there is no difference between uh, black and white and free and sleeve and etc. All this fabrication. Who want to show me the reference? Is it in Sahih Bukhari? Is it in any book of the authentic books? Suddenly, any book, anything, it is not authentic. Suddenly, they like it now, just to pro to promote to promote their propaganda. <laughs> you know what I mean? When they want the correct hadith is weak. When they want. The, the the one is not even considered weak they like it you will show me the authentic okay show me from Sahih Bukhari or the, the, the books of Sahih are six books correct guys the books of Sahih are six books and I can put it for you in the screen show me the last sermon from the six books of Hadith let us laugh together it's a challenge for you I want to see where Muhammad he said that Muhammad he made fun of the look of the black people Muhammad he insulted the black people and the Quran confirmed that look what the Quran says isn't it the Quran says that Allah will punish all people who they are bad and he will make them black hmm? does it say that here we go Chapter 3, verse 106. The day where Allah will make faces black 
And who are they? Those Allah will make their faces black. Let us read together. <laughs> who are they? Read it. Is that a weak hadith? Is that a weak hadith? So, according to Islam, the one who Allah will punish, He will make him a black. When this is absolutely false, a black person can be better than any white person or vice versa. Doesn't matter. We are all children of Adam and we are all equal, but not in Islam. So, what the Muslim now they will say, the Quran is weak. Hmm? What being black have to do? But if you remember, if you remember, I don't know how many of you remember. Muhammad before he said the hadith. Who remember the hadith? Like sometime I forget to I forget to like uh, uh, to mention it, but it's very important. Where he said clearly that Allah He created. Read this hadith. This is Muhammad, and this is authentic. This is authentic. Read, read the filth and the and, and the discrimination and the hate teaching. Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam when He created him, and He struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white of spring. As the if they were ants, he struck his left shoulder, shoulder of who of Adam. So, just to make it simple now, from now, the right shoulder of Adam is where the white people came from. The the white the, the, the right shoulder is where white people like white ants, and then Allah he struck the left shoulder and there emitted the black of spring. As if they were circle, and then Allah He said to those who they have been emitted from the right shoulder, which means the white one, go to paradise. And I don't care, I don't mind. And He said to those who have been emitted from the left shoulder, are to hell, and I don't care. I mean, how clear we can see it. Are you blind? According to the mad Muhammad. Black people created to go to hell, white people created from the beginning to go to heaven. And he confirmed that in the Quran, if you read the chapter 27, verse number 82. In chapter 27, verse number 82, where supposedly there is a beast is going to come from the ground. And this beast will come with the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And the beast will hit you in your face. If you are a person who believe in Allah, Allah will make you all white and very shiny white. And if you are a person who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make you black. Finally, Christian Prince, he will get his dream to be true. He will become black. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will become black. I'm happy. So what, what's wrong with being black? What's wrong with being black? What the problem? What the problem if I became black? What does that mean? Are you mad? Are you stupid? I like to be black. What's wrong with being black? I met black people. They are amazing, beautiful people. What's wrong with being black? And not to mention, if I am, I became a black, I will find a wife right away. <laughs> For some reason, women they like black people. <laughs> Don't you see, I'm still single. I'm gonna be black. Somebody call, uh, somebody call Allah. Do it right now. Don't wait for the judgment day. What happened to this mad religion? Crazy religion. 
this is God and this is a prophet and they lie to you says Islam did not make differentiation between you know do you know that Muhammad he never called for the Adhan this hadith does not refer about pity refer to uh, to uh, black not color <laughs> guys black not color what what are you talking about the it says circle and white ants I mean how clear it is more there is from the left shoulder what the left shoulder present the right hand present the right and the left shoulder present the wrong and yet this Muslim saying does not mean that Do you see how even they try to fabricate but reality is there's good people everywhere there's bad people everywhere there's a black there's good you know I told you once once I left left my house and uh, I, I I supposedly I hit the you know like the the wireless uh, for the garage door I thought it's closed I like I came back after two hours I found my neighbor who is a black guy sitting in front of my house he brought a chair he said there imagine to guard my house because that door is open anyone can get in I told him why, why are you sitting here he said I you left the garage open I said okay well, you can close it just push your hand inside the garage there is a bomb there you can he said I was afraid somebody would say I got in imagine how nice he is he sat outside my house for two hours guarding my house and he is my neighbor and he's a black I love this person What is that? That is disgusting, my friend. Anyone sponsor racism is evil, and Muhammad he does. Now, where is the where is your reference for the uh, for the last sermon, Mister uh, uh, Proud? I was I was waiting for you the Sahih Hadith of the last sermon where it is where it says there's no difference between black and white I want to see the Hadith <laughs> if you go in the Quran if we go to chapter 27 this is the this is Sahih Bukhari now Guys, let me show you the reference they gave us. This is a book which, so be my witness. Somebody take take a snapshot. This is where they have the reference for the prophet saying. So this is not a Sahih book. So how come when I bring you from Sahih book, you reject it? This is, a, who's, who's that? What is this book? What is this? <laughs> if I show you a hadith from the same book, you will accept it? You will say to me, I never heard of it. <laughs> Hypocrite people. If you go to chapter 27, verse number 82, let us go there. Which there is another fairy tale story in that in that uh, chapter. It says the following. إِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أخرجنا لهم دابة من الأرض تكلمهم أن الناس كانوا بآياتنا لا يوقنون الله will make a beast come from the earth and this beast will speak in Arabic and not only that will speak Quran brother and not only that, what this beast will do. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? <clears throat> Who remember? We just told you. Come on, guys. Hello. I don't. I don't know what diet you are eating. Come on. Okay. Let me. Let me help you. I think you guys are eating too much McDonald's. If we go to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, 
you will see how this beast will come from the ground and will have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon. Brother, this is a true story, brother. Don't tell me the Quran is a book of fairy tale stories. No way. And is going to hit you in your face if you are a person who did not listen to the prophet, but you listen to Christian prince. And then Allah supposedly will make you black. Let us show you. <clears throat> Here we go. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, as you see, chapter 27, verse number 82. And let us go directly where it says the word black. Allah will make will make this beast hit you. He will have it will strike the nose of the disbeliever. You know, guys, what do you think if we cut our nose? He, where he will hit us? Our toes then? With the ring. And will make the face of the believer white with the staff. So the ring will make you black. The staff will make you... Uh, uh, the ring will make you... Yeah. The, the staff will make you white. The ring will make you black, brother. Brother? Do you really believe in this story, brother? Yes, brother. Okay. And there will no no believer left without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until all his face shiny white as a result. And there is no will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread until his face black as a result. How sad. <laughs> uh, this is the stupid cult. It's called Islam, my friend. This is this is what Islam is about. Even Muhammad he says, if you remember, who remember the story of the black stone? Did Muhammad say black stone was whiter than milk or I'm lying? And then the sin of a mankind made it black? Do you understand how dangerous what Muhammad said? Muhammad, he claimed that sin make you black. As simple as that. The black stone is not a black stone. It's a white stone. But the sin of mankind made it black. Let me let me find the hadith. Here we go. Uh, we find in Sahih Bukhari, so that they don't say it's fake, you know. Yep. Let us see here. All right. 
as you see. Where is the hadith? See, sometimes you find everything you want, but not what you want exactly. Oh boy, hold on. Let us try again. Finally, thank God. The Messenger of Allah said, the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam. So Muhammad here, he have a very racist idea of sin. Sin will make you black. The white stone was white, like milk because it was without sin but then when the stone was kissed by sinners the sin transformed into the black stone and made the black stone black what do you want more racist from this and by the way when Muhammad he made the hadith about black is from the left shoulder and the white from the right shoulder where the Asian people come in from <laughs> Hey, Asian people, where do you think, Muhammad, you think about you? Where are you coming from? <laughs> what a crazy religion. Because Muhammad, he never met an Asian person, so he never thought about them. He all what he see, white and black. That's it. He never met an Asian person. White and black. But I'm assuming he'd been taught about the Asian people, right? I don't know. Oh, Lord. Anyway. I think we have enough for today uh, this video guys just to tell you how to find my videos this video will disappear from my channel all right and then after like a few hours three hours either you can get the updated link from patreon or you search for the same title exactly in YouTube same title and filter it to be in the last 24 hours to be sure that you are not finding different video and then you can download it and you can share it with your friends and you can post it on Facebook wherever you want all right and uh, don't forget to subscribe to those who uh, download the videos so you always can be updated do we have any Muslim would like to call me before I leave may they may they anyone what do you mean stay please my eyes hurt from the computer do you know how many hours I'm looking at the computer today Many hours. Hey, Captain, how are you? And as you see, you know, I can stay, but you need to get me a customer. Do you have a fish for me? If you have a fish, I will stay. Make more Greek coffee, my friend. If I take, if I do a blood test, they will not find the blood anymore. They will find coffee. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, but there is a video I like you to see. Actually, let me see where is the video. Hold on, before we. Because this video is really hilarious. I like you to share it and download it so you can really enjoy it. Give me a second to find the video for you. Um, I made this video and I made many videos actually. I'm making like when I'm I'm not going live on air, doesn't doesn't mean I'm not making videos. But there's videos I don't show them live on air. I don't do them live on air because they will claim copyright over them. You know they, they you know they are dying to to report me even YouTube they send me emails saying they are flagging you even though you are not on air which mean like I make a I make I'm going to go live on air they start flagging me before I go on air and YouTube they are aware of that so they send me an email saying be aware that there's many flags came against your account and we are taking the what which means they are taking my side supposedly they are not going to let uh, those uh, 
you know, flag effect. But imagine they are flagging me even I'm not there. <laughs> this is how much uh, uh, <laughs> crazy stuff. Okay, this is the link for the video. If anyone of you would like to go and watch it, it's a comedy. It's very good, but you you will gain weight by the way. If you keep watching those videos, you will you will gain weight because you laugh a lot. You know, it's kind of a comedy. A comedy make you lose weight. You know, I mean, sorry, gain weight. So <clears throat> you will laugh a lot. Just watch it. Watch it, and you will have a different way to look at the life around you. Especially those who live in Indonesia. In Indonesia, Indonesia is a beautiful country, and they have a lot of animals around them. Like uh, you know, it's a it have a warm weather, so you have all kind of uh, butterfly, uh, insects, uh, uh, beautiful animals, or whatever. So uh, uh, you know, all those things. According to this video, you will, you know what? Why I'm telling you the video? That will break the movie for you. I should not tell you the the. Go watch it. Just go watch the video. <laughs> How many of you did not see it yet? And I made another video, by the way, uh, which is uh, uh, supposedly the Muslim. They made a video to refute uh, a gentleman whose name uh, the apostate prophet. You remember him? We made a like a, a video together once. Uh, uh, he is an ex-Muslim, and they are so angry from him because he is exposing Islam. Uh, so, where is the video? Here we go. Let me let me give you the link so you can watch this one too. That will give you a good entertainment, especially if you are driving your car going somewhere. You know. Let me give you that one, and this is the link. This is about uh, the opposite the prophet and Muhammad hijab and I will post more I'm making more of them so even when I'm not online I mean live on air I'm do making videos and as I said those I made them because I know if I keep them in my account they will take it as an excuse to flag me you know the game so yeah I see that many people they are giving a donation today uh, well thank you very much for that I really appreciate your help and now uh, I can uh, uh, I can give I got an idea, guys. Let me do this. Um, you know, as long as you guys are giving a donation, I'm going to give Allah alone. Remember, the Quran says, if you give Allah alone, Allah will forgive your sin and will double it for you. So let us say, if I give Allah a ninety-nine dollars. And Allah have 99 names. Look at the coincidence. Allah will love this donation. If you lend Allah a goodly loan, goodly loan, i.e. spend it in the cause of Allah. Like what is that? And then we give it to Muhammad at that time. He will double it for you and he will forgive your sin. All the sin I did in my life will be forgiven for 99 dollars. Do you see how easy it is? Do you see how easy to forgive your Quran, your, your sin? I mean, what? How crazy stuff you did in your life? Just, just uh, it can be even ten dollars. <laughs> this is the only God can you can bribe him. This is the only God you give him ten dollars, he will forgive your sin. Just give me money. <laughs> What is that? And who is the one who collect the money? Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. He's a serving Allah. And what he will do with the money? He will make a verse says, any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so we can do boom, boom. And the funny, the Muslim, they said to you, the Prophet was very poor. The guy, he have 13 open houses and they are full of slaves. Who is the one who's paying for this? Who is the one is paying for this? People cannot afford even to pay for one house and one wife. The poor Muhammad, he have 13 wives and 13 mother-in-law and each wife she have tons of slaves and he is poor. Poor brother. He's very poor. When you read the hadith and you will see Aisha how much money she get in the day of her marriage, like let us say, the memorial day how many gifts 
and you will see the wives of Muhammad are fighting over the gifts and we showed you the stories before many times and the Prophet was very poor extremely poor right I have 40 uncles <laughs> well in Middle East yeah we have big families you know yeah that's said uh, but you know we Christians still we live in the Middle East but doesn't mean my father he only married one woman and my dad him she married only my father that's it they spend their life together so yes we have a big family because we are Christian we don't believe in the birth control we believe that a child is a gift from God and nobody have the right to kill a child so we have big family yes but uh, not because of many wives you see man man he if he, if he have a need and the women she have a need but what the one man and one woman they cannot do by having I mean what the man need a one woman she cannot do if you have one and then two and then then three and then four and is that going to be enough no because you divorce them and you get another obviously you are not looking for a family you are looking for lust you just want to enjoy uh, you know a party time the woman she get older you replace her as if she's a car so there is no marriage in Islam if you really love a woman you stay with her until you die even there is birds there's birds if they're uh, 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 like let us say lover die they don't they don't even they die too they die from sadness imagine birds and they are birds so we don't want to be living like you know like uh, 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 evil creatures abusing each other the one who have money he 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 get as many women as as he can as if they are like something to buy and in Islam it, they made them as a goods to buy a man who is looking for love one woman will do for him what he need and even if she die might you might and I know many people actually uh, you know their wife she died he never get married again never but he can they're still young and they are good-looking but still they don't get married that's it he loved that woman but the man he want more women and even his wife is still alive that's mean he considered the women as just a, a, like a, a furniture I have I need one more TV in the room I have four rooms I want to fill them up right so obviously Islam is sponsor your lost not your love and even in the heaven in the heaven a Muslim woman she will be what she will be just an additional sex toy the man will have 72 wives at least this is the lowest re reward what is love God you see just to show you the story of Muhammad does not match with the story of the Bible even though Muhammad he stole the story of Adam and Eve yet he failed to accomplish the story because God created Adam and Eve did God make a mistake when he made one Eve to Adam why God did not make four Eves you know what I mean he made one Eve one man one woman that's it We are not uh, we are not goats we are not animals we are a human marriage mar man and women they have a purpose which is a family it's not about sex you see God he gave you the sexual pleasure so you will not take it as a job which you don't like so there is a joy in this so there's additional joy it additional to have a children to have a family to have people caring for you so all of it will be a joy and then there is responsibility so the purpose of sexual joy it was not really the sex God he gave us this gift so we can enjoy having a family but it was not the purpose to be for sex right <clears throat> uh, so a man who really he care the man who really love he should not look for another woman and the man who one woman she is not enough for him there's no number can satisfy him is that correct 
Like when a man, this is why, by the way, all Muslims in the Middle East, they stay poor. I, I will tell you the reason. Maybe we should make a special time for this. I notice, I notice that in, in Muslim houses, the family, they stay poor. Even the guy, he have a good income. Why? Because his wives, they start taking, asking him for money. Buy us this. The curtain is old. Change it for me. The couch is old from the last year. You bought the other wife. So they are fighting about sucking his money because they don't have security for tomorrow. She's not the only one in the house. So each one of them, she want to suck his blood. While my dad and my mother, my, my mother, my mother, she care for every penny. My dad, she don't spend something unless it is necessary because this is her husband. That's it. As the Bible says, they are one. They are not two. In Islam, there are five. And the five can increase. <laughs> and each woman, she want to get as much as she can before he divorce her, before she get older, because she get, get you know, she lose her beauty. He will replace her for a new girl. So they keep sucking his blood and he stay poor. This is why if you go in the Christian uh, Christian in the Middle East, read between the Christians, you would think that those Christians are millionaires there. They have a nice life. All their kids are educated. You will not find a Christian kid in the Middle East cleaning the glass of a car or cleaning shoes. But you find Muslim kids doing that. Why? Because Islamic families are destroyed. There's no family in the family. Islamic system destroy the family because there's no family. It's just a corporation. It's just a, it's just a contract for sex. I hire you to be my servant and to sleep with you. Give me babies. I you know fire you tomorrow. That's it. This is why you will see wherever there's Muslims and Christians, the Christians have way better life from the Muslims, even though the Muslims are the one who have the good jobs because they discriminate us in the Middle East. You know, we are minority. So you will never be a president. You will never be a minister. You will never be. You will, so they, they get the, the the best of the jobs. Still, they don't look. They are enjoying their life. All right. So when when the Messiah, he taught, you know, he taught us that one man and one woman, that was for the benefit of the community and then the, the society because that will have an impact in the society unemployment crime numbers uh, actually we should maybe maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow what do you think guys should we make this topic should we talk about why why the lord he advised us one man and one woman what do you think who think this is a good uh, good topic And why a man and why a woman they should really not to date too many and have too much relationship because there is many bad things happen because of that. All right. So I don't know if I will do it today here or I will do it in the quality of life because we did not post anything in the quality of life for a while. So maybe I will do it in the quality of life. How many of you knows my other account, the quality of life? Maybe the admin can post it. Uh let us see quality of life uh, quality of life maybe we should uh, make a broadcast there <clears throat> okay let me get the link here we go uh, this is our last video I think there we post it I will post the link for you. You can watch it. And subscribe to this channel, if you don't mind. I will post it in the info a little bit. So tomorrow, let us see what tomorrow, what time tomorrow we will be there. Mm. Maybe tomorrow, maybe 11 a.m. in the morning. What do you think? 11 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, something like that. All right. So subscribe to this channel because this channel there we speak about things that have nothing to do with the cult of Islam. We speak about things which can be good for us. And, you know, for me, I love always to help people to do. I, I don't know, guys. I, I love to help people. Like uh, just in the other day, two days ago, I went to Walmart 
and there was a lady uh, she's a, a you know as long as we, are talk, we talk about black and white she is a black lady uh, uh, she uh, she's buying yogurt so I'm looking where is the plain yogurt because I make um, uh, I make my own yogurt uh, so anyway we open a conversation and we start talking about how to make yogurt so I taught her how to make yogurt all right this is on Walmart we are just standing on Walmart and then there's an old woman next to her she is with her she said you are a very nice guy you spent all this time explaining to us with details and uh, you know uh, very nice of you you know where are you from she start asking me you know questions like where are you from I said no it's my pleasure I really love 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 to help people you know now you do not need because in USA yogurt is expensive but milk is cheap it's very cheap so I taught this woman how to make yogurt so and then she said to me but the way you explain things you have a passionate you know like you are you are really as if you are like it's it's something you love is, is are you a teacher <laughs> she was like asking me like what do you do <laughs> she said I'm looking at you how you are teaching my daughter and her husband is there just watching too she, she have two kids with her uh, like I'm looking at you how you are teaching my daughter you are so excited that's amazing I said yeah well this is how I am what I can do <laughs> anyway so uh, maybe I should make a video about how to make a yogurt how many of you knows how to make yogurt do you know how to make yogurt I make my own yogurt it's so good you know not like the one you buy from the stores you know it's really good maybe I should make a video about how to make yogurt so you guys will learn yeah why not you know anything can be helpful for for anyone you see I appreciate videos on YouTube teaching you how to fix a faucet those people are doing great job uh, when any one of us he do something to help someone else that is a fruit of a Christ that's Christ speaking within you if you learn and you keep what you learn for yourself it's mean you are selfish you know what I mean so maybe some people they make videos just to maybe to make advertising or money this is their business I mean that is different fruits maybe but at the end of the day if your purpose is to help somebody and it's not anything else that's mean you're already doing a great job there's many people they do not know what to do anything you know they have no expert in anything they don't know well you know I love to learn and I love to teach what I learn the Bible says for a free you took for a free you give our life is a process of learning and the one who learn and keep what he learned he is selfish right so always we should share all right uh, Capitalism need to keep running. I don't know what you are saying, but my friend, capitalism proving to be better than socialism. You know, but I don't want to go there. But people, they have sometimes they they throw rocks like here and there. Be careful, because socialism is a failure. Communism is a failure. Until now, capitalism, even it is really it can be ugly, but it's way better than all the other ideas. All of them, they fail. You don't believe me watch around all right because human being have a have a have a nature and the nature is me and this is why capitalism is more successful the second you see us people don't care like make a government hospital because it's not owned by the one who work inside it they don't nobody care it's a government right but if you are the one who run the business you will be worried about every penny you spend and you will be worried about how to treat the customer so they can come back so we don't want to go there but always think before you say things socialism is a stupid the ideas sound good but the inside is evil I never saw a socialist system don't want to tell you what to eat and what to drink and they start dictate as Islam exactly Islam dictate what you eat what to say what not to say and this is what we see now. YouTube can, you know, can take you down, can mute you. So imagine we have a, so a socialism system, a government. 
you are offending this guy you are offending this religion you cannot say that you know and not only that they take a side and they decide they became they act like god so they take from you every freedom including the freedom of speech and the reason is or the excuse is is good manner and right and wrong so they act as if they are god on you i am a big fascist why ac Wait, why is he marketing LLC? Why? That is a very stupid statement from you. I think you don't even know what fascism mean. Anyway, so be careful. You know, say no to socialism. Say no to Islam. Say no to hypocrisy. Say no to political correctness. Because all of them, they lead to one end. That we will live hypocrite and we will not say what we believe and we will not believe in what we say you know what i mean the second you start saying things you don't believe in that's mean you are dead that's mean you are forced to live as a slave you lost your freedom so you believe but you believe in something you say something <laughs> what kind of a what kind of a man you are so you believe in something you say something and then you say something but you don't believe in what you say that's what they want you to be they want you to be a number and that is islam islam is a fascist cult let me show, show you the one who is talking about fascism i was going to go but just a second look at fascism of islam now we're putting the screen in a second hold on That is fascism for the one who was talking about fascist. Do you see it? Islam teach that Muslims are the best of mankind. Who is the one who is talking? Islam and the Prophet and Allah. This is chapter 3, verse 10 in the Quran. You are the best of people ever raised up for benefit of mankind. And between two bracket benefit, which means it's not in the Quran really. What does that mean exactly? The best of man for mankind are those who bring them with a chain round their necks till they embrace Islam. That is fascism. Fascism is to believe that you are the best and the rest are garbage. And because you are the best, you have control on them and you can put a leech around their neck as dogs. That is fascism. Do you see it? So the silly person who speak about fascism, he's upset because of me exposing the cult of Islam. This is your cult. We don't teach that. We don't believe in that. We don't believe that Muslims should be brought to convert to Christianity and put a chain around their neck. This is very false. That is the slave. This is why the Muslims, they say they are slaves of Allah. Even your religion based on slavery. Why the Quran even confirmed that the Christian they say that our the God is our father? Hmm? What the Quran says? The Quran says to the Christian to the Christians that the Jews and the Christian they say we are the beloved by God. Say to them, Well, if you are beloved by God, so why God is punishing you? Do you see it for your sin so even in the time of Muhammad the teaching of the Bible is consistent we are beloved by God we are not slaves we are the children of God actually in Arabic it says it clearly we are the children of God not Allah the Quran says Allah yes but we don't believe in Allah anyway and here you see that Islam based the relationship between a human and God totally far away from Christianity and Judaism. While we are in Judaism and Christianity, children of God, in Islam they are slaves of God. And the second you say that the God, you see, I can accept that this is a metaphorical meaning like, okay, my, I'm serving God, etc. But this is not what it's meant in Islam. It's meant you are literally a slave. You have no freedom of choice. How to say in Arabic? Uh, well, I don't know what do you mean. What to say in Arabic? The verse: 
وقالت اليهود والنصارى نحن أبناء الله وأحباؤه قل فلما يعذبكم بذنوبكم Is that what you want me to say? In Arabic, in the, if, you, if you mean the way we say it as a Christians, you know, the children of God, Abna or Rab. The word Rab uh, is uh, coming from the Aramaic, you know, Rabbi, Rabbi, you know. This is the word Lord. We are the children of the Lord. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I will set up the other channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, where we will do live podcast tomorrow and please inform your friends so they can join us. Not many people, they subscribe there, so I'm not expecting many of you to be there, but whoever care. And we will talk about, uh, let us see what we will call it, like, you know, uh, the unity. Uh, is it unity or just a marriage? Hmm. Maybe this is a good title. Is it a unity or just a marriage? Hmm. We will see. So I am going to, uh, to to make a title for it, and we will see what what you guys uh, say about it. Thank you very much. May the Lord love you and bless you all. And uh, you know the best the best love to earn is the love of the Lord. And if you have that love, you will never be bankrupt and you will never be empty, because always the Lord He will provide you. The Lord always will support you and he will send many good people in your way. And this is my life story with many things I have around me. Always the Lord, he sent me from the middle of nowhere somebody. People I do not know, people I never met, people I never heard of. Always help come from the middle of nowhere. Even though sometimes you think, that's it, there's nobody's going to help you. You're alone. You're alone, that's it. But no, just have faith. And I believe that's always you know uh, uh, the one who have patient is the winner and the one who lose the patient he is the loser like you are a female and somebody will offer you a job to work in strapteza club you are beautiful you are young just come here they give you i will give you a hundred dollar an hour two hundred dollars an hour you don't have patient right you want to make money fast but in the trash your life you destroy it but there is a woman, she maintained herself, she never lost hope, even though she is poor, she need the money, she is suffering. Maybe she have a family to support, maybe she have a brothers and sisters, they are young and they are hungry, but it's still the Lord at the end, he will surprise you. He will surprise you. And there is many ways of the surprises. Never give up and never give up to the devil. Otherwise, you will turn to be a loser. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.